That's right, I've got Sam Mannering in the kitchen today and we've got two fantastic recipes for you out of his book here. So these are great recipes and one of the recipes is for actually a Cloudy Bay pop-up, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, I know. So we launched that yesterday. Wow, wow. So that's great. So we're going to show you how to make it right here. So what, what recipe are we going to make? Right, so we're doing uh, ricotta gnocchi with broccolini, edamame and um, goat's cheese. Wow, sounds yep. yummy. And? And we're making a wee um, almond flapjack as well. Fantastic, that sounds great. So we've got a savoury and a sweet. It's going to be great. Come back later and me and Sam are going to be making these recipes for you. Mike? Yeah, thanks, Mel. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I am not a chef. But luckily, Mark and Sam are, and they're going to be showing us a couple of recipes this morning. One from Sam's book, actually, which is called Food Worth Making, and another one from a fantastic event he's part of, and I'm going to tell you all about that. While we are cooking, so boys, where are we up to? Right, so we're making the gnocchi mix now. Yep. So I've got some ricotta in there. Yum. Uh, a little bit of parmesan to hold it all together. I'm going to put some flour in and some salt and pepper, and I'm just going to make it into a dough. Nice work. Okay, and Sam, welcome to the cafe, by the way. I'm running out of things to do. It's ridiculous. I know. It's, oh, he's got the hard job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hard, well, good yeah. to make him work for once, I guess. Um, so what are you going to be doing? I'm making flapjacks, and so uh, it's literally the easiest recipe in the world. Oh, yeah. Everyone's been going on about flapjacks yeah. today. So what, what is a flapjack? Well, you see, I, I used to live in London, yeah. and quickly become addicted to them like that. You can't really get them here. Or that's sort right. of, you know, they're more or less a muesli bar. Okay, but nice. sort of denser and richer, yeah. and and you have a basic recipe and you can add whatever you like to them, okay. which is kind of cool. But it's just oats nice. and melted butter and yep. brown sugar, <laughs> all those things that we like. So good, yeah. Yeah. butter. Yeah, he, yeah, he's gonna love that. It's kind of obscene. <laughs> okay, sweet. So you just talk us through what you're doing there, Sam. Yeah. So melted butter, oats, and a bit of golden syrup. Yeah. And then I'm gonna be flavouring it really, really simply, just with a bit of cinnamon, uh, lemon zest, and almonds, and then a bit of brown sugar just to sweeten it up. Nice work. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Well, that sounds nice and simple. I can't wait to try that a little <laughs> later on. Um, now, this gnocchi, what are you doing? Because this well, is fascinating. So, so, we've just done it into a dough. Yeah. So, we've got a nice dough. So, it's quite saucy. You need a little bit of flour on the work surface, a little bit on your hands as well, so it doesn't get too messy. Yeah. And then you just sort of carefully just rolling it out, just as a you know, desired thickness. So, you can do whatever you want. Okay. So, we're just going to go it, you know, about a sort of centimetre and a half thick. And then we're just going to cut it, cut it into these like little sausages. But any shape you want to do, right. it's really simple. Look at that. And that's nice basically and it. And then I've got a pot of boiling water on there, or simmering water, mm -hmm. salted, and then I'm just going to chuck these in. Look at that. And then you just you just want to cook them, cook them gently, and then when they're cooked, they'll come to the surface and you can scoop them out and they're ready. Nice work. Okay, well, while you boys are carrying on, Sam, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions because you are part of something very cool. Um, it's taking place at 46 and York, who have recently had a fit yep. out. It's your Cloudy Bay Sale Away event. Tell us more about that. It's pretty exciting. So I was approached by Cloudy Bay to collaborate with them on a menu that matches their range of wines. Nice. And so we've got a pop-up that started yesterday and it goes on until, I think, the 16th of November. Nice. Um, cool. And it, it's pretty exciting. So uh, it's, it's basically a celebration of their wine and the best of New Zealand produce. And, and, I, and I hear, to, is it like dig degustation? Is well, it? it is. So I've got a wee tasting menu, so yeah. it's, we, we, which is a real cross section, um, which, which is matched with Cloudy Bay wines. Right. Yeah, so starting with their Pelouris and then moving into, you know, the, the, the Sable Blanc, the Chardonnay, and then the Pinot Noir. <laughs> um, but we've also got a bar menu that sits alongside that as well. But I have felt like a kid in a candy shop because <laughs> like when the colour of the wine is so high, it's just sort of like, okay, well, it's got to be the best food possible. Well, God, I'm going I'm to ask you more about that in just yeah. a minute because I'm interested to know more about the wine pairings when it comes yeah. to food. Mm -hmm. um, that event, by the way, 46inyork.co.nz if you want to go and check it out for more details. We're back in the Mastercraft kitchen making Sam Mannering's gnocchi and flapjacks from a stunning new book, Food Worth Making. Make sure you grab yourself a copy of that. Um, the good thing is I like about that book, though, is you keep it nice and simple. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. What, what is your philosophy behind food? I don't like to muck around with food too much. Okay, you know, good. A couple of key ingredients, yeah. three or four, that's mm -hmm. it. Keep it nice. simple. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, we've got no time to muck around today. And you <laughs> are just about finishing your flapjacks yeah. mix. What have you put so in so there So I've put my lemon zest, I've put some almonds in there as well. So yep. it's all mixed together. I mean, it doesn't take much work at all. Nice, and honey. then I'm just slapping it into the pan. Nice, so okay. So a lime dish. You slap away, it. you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz and Mark, gnocchi sometimes can be a little bit scary for people but you've made that look really easy. Yeah. Is it easy? Well, yeah, very easy. I mean this is great. I mean you can make gnocchi with potato as well yep. so obviously it takes a bit longer and there's a lot more effort into it um, but you see, you can just see how simple this is, you know. You yeah. mix it all in a bowl, pop it in, like I mean, look at these. They're just floating to the surface now. Take how, long, how long do they need oh. to cook? Probably like a minute and a half, oh. two minutes. I mean, that's it. You know, let it let it come to the surface. Take it out. You know, they're firm to the touch. 
and, nice. and it's just an oil, oiled plate and it's all ready to go. And then just in this pan we've blanched some broccoli, yep. literally for about 30 seconds refreshed it, so that's in ice water, and then we're just going to fry it in a pan, get a little bit of colour. Yum. And then we're going to add the gnocchi in, we've got some lemon zest in there, and we're going to put a splash of wine in as well. Brilliant. Okay, speaking of the wine, we're going to come to that in just a minute because I want to find out about these wine pairings. Um, what I'm more curious about, though, is your food history because you, yep. you, know, you weren't inspired by a TV show, you weren't sort of going to fancy restaurants, so what got you into food? Um, oh, I've been in and out of kitchens, I suppose, for the last 10 years, I guess, but um, it's... People like Fergus Henderson, yeah. St John in London, you, okay. know, but really, you know, it's his simple approach, you know, it's not what you can add to it, it's just what you can take out of it. Right. You know? Oh, there we go, I like that philosophy. Yeah, yeah. yeah good. Yeah. And whereabouts are you shipping at the moment? Uh, I've got Homestead out, out in Hillsborough, at the Par Homestead oh, there. Nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot, we're very lucky. Yeah, I know, Mel was yeah. just telling me she was out there just recently, so yeah. there you go. Yeah. Nice, Six, seven degrees of separation here at the cafe <laughs> today. Okay, so the flapjack mixture yep. is in there. Yep. And so that goes in the oven. Goes in the oven. Yep. And then we'll come back, we'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished a little later on. Mm. Um, but this wine pairing stuff. Yep. So you go to Sail Away, yep. 46 in York. Yep. You're providing all the menus, but then uh, all the food, but then we're going to match it yep. with some brilliant wines. Yep. What's the classic pairings with wine and food? Because what's your philosophy on that? Well, I mean, to me, it's about, um, it's, a, it's a bit of a knife edge between contrast and compliment, right. you know? So obviously, you know, you've got your seafood with your white wine, your red meats with your red wine. That, that that's just a bit of a given. But it's also about um, keeping it a little bit interesting as well. So, say I've got something like you know lamb, which is quite sweet, mm. wrapped in prosciutto, perfect up against a pinot noir. All you right, know? okay. Yeah. So you got your sweet and your sour, really, haven't you? Yeah, nice, totally. brilliant. Yeah. Okay, well, look, well, I'm really looking forward to coming back to the Mastercraft Kitchen, seeing how everything ends up here. 46 in York.co.nz if you want to go and test out what Sam is doing with Cloudy Bay. We'll come back very soon. Right, we are done. We're just finished putting the finishing touches to this gnocchi. Just got a little bit of goat's cheese that were crumbling around yeah. on the outside. And then Sam's just cutting up the uh, flapjacks. It's all ready to try. Mm, nice. Okay, Yum. bring it over. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Look at this. Woo! Okay, Sam, so this is your gnocchi. What are we going to match that with? What's the Cloudy Bay wine we're going to match that with? Cloudy Bay Chardonnay. Ooh, oh, yes! That's so dry. <laughs> hey, here you go, Donovan. <laughs> this <laughs> is the way to eat and celebrate food oh, and drink, I think. Oh, You're allowed sorry. one of them. Thank you, um, thank you so much, Sam. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Can't wait to try it.